I'm here with at Central Commerce where they're having the National Youth Shakespeare Festival. I can't keep it up as long as these kids can, but basically Ontario high school students are celebrating the works of Shakespeare right here on the stage. So let's check it out. They call me Katharina, that you talk to me. My faith for you are called Play Kate. The Shakespeare in Action Festival really brings uh, kids from different schools uh, all over the area together to celebrate Shakespeare. And you appear to be the um, only one who's doing a monologue. Could you tell us a bit about your scene and your character? I'm doing Iago uh, from Othello and it's um, Act 1, Scene 3. I know not to be true, but I, for mere suspicion in that kind, will do as if for sure. Basically, Iago is plotting and scheming against Othello because he's jealous and uh, he's a very conniving and nasty character, you know? He has no redeeming qualities. I, I think I pulled it off. I mean, Diego is just one of Shakespeare's greatest villains and I just wanted to bring him to life here today. So you guys picked a scene from Midsummer Night's Dream. Tell me why you guys chose that scene. We chose that scene because it's a really funny scene. Um, there's just so many emotions. Everyone hates this one girl and they love this other girl. Tons of affairs and everything like that. Demetrius loves her and he loves you not. Oh, Helen. Goddess, nymph, perfect divine. We performed a scene from Midsummer Night's Dream and uh, the basic gist is that um, the mystical fairy Puck has gone around and messed with all the four different humans who are wandering around in the magical forest and so they're all in love with different people than who they should be and so the scene kind of plays on that. My love, my life, my soul, fair Helena. Oh, excellent. How would you personally try to get more people your age into Shakespeare as much as you are? Well, this Shakespeare Festival is definitely a good thing. One thing I would do is go into the schools, have like rallies and kind of get everyone to see how cool it is. You have to kind of appreciate the language and whatnot that goes into it, but also the stories, it translates to regular English. Even if you don't really understand the kind of wording, you can really understand what's going on in the scene and appreciate it by how the actors bring up those characters. Let go of your comfort zone and, you know, embrace it. Because Shakespeare, he's been around for hundreds of years for a reason. We can still identify with all his characters and all of his plays. It's just wonderful. From being at this festival, Shakespeare kind of looks like it really does, you know, translate to the 21st century. And I'm here getting into it myself. Alas, I need to leave, so they do call me Co-op Joida. Fare thee well. My, my game I made is called 300.